Hello everyone, welcome back to Total DIY, where we turn simple ingredients into powerful products. In today's video, I will show you how to make texapone gel using just XLS and sodium sulfate. This is a common practice, especially in local market. And many times, we unknowingly buy this as real texapone. Let's get into it. Here yeah, I have 400 grams of sodium lauryl sulfate, also known as SLS, and 200 grams of sodium sulfate. I will also be using a total of 950 ml of water through how this products. I'm starting by adding 250 ml of hot water into the 400 grams of SLS. Stir it gently and keep mixing until it forms a smooth paste. This will take a few minutes, but be patient. Next, I'm going to add 200 ml of water to the 220 grams of sodium sulfate and I will stir this for about two minutes. Don't worry if it doesn't dissolve completely. That's okay for this process. Now, I will transfer the SLS paste into a mixing bucket. Then pour in the sodium sulfate mixture and start mixing thoroughly. You will need to mix for at least 12 minutes to ensure both components combine well and dissolve properly. Now, I will begin adding the remaining water, about 200 ml at a time. After each addition, I will mix for 4 minutes before adding more. We continue this until we use the full 950 ml of water in total. Once everything is mixed, cover the container and allow it to sit for about 36 hours. During this period, the gel will form and stabilize. This certain time depends on how much water you use. Less water means a thicker gel but longer setting time. More water gives you a faster set but a looser texture. And here we go. After 36 hours, our texapon gel is ready. It looks smooth, thick, very similar to the texapon sold in many local markets. Now, it is important to understand this is not industrial grade texapon. It's a homemade version that mimics its appearance and function. Unfortunately, Many of us unknowingly buy this in place of the real D. True texapone, also known as sodium lauryl ectasulfate, is produced through a complex chemical process. Here is a simplified breakdown of how industrial texapone is made. Stage 1 is known as ectoselection. This is the stage where lauryl alcohol reacts with ethylene oxide to produce ectoselated alcohol. Stage 2 is known as sulfation. This is the stage where ethosylated alcohol is sulfated using sulfur trioxide or glucosophonic acid. Stage 3 is known as neutralization. This stage involved in acid is neutralized with sodium hydroxide to form SLS. The last stage, which is purification and thickening stage, involves the product being filtered, thickened, and preserved before packaging. This process involves heavy duty reactors, vacuum systems, heat exchangers, stainless steel vessels, 
and careful chemical control. Not something we can DIY at all. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Tutorial DIY for more honest, practical tutorial. Got questions or requests? Drop them in the comment below. See you in the next one.